well. So that was easy. That didn't take long at all. A little cordless impact there. Just pulled all these bolts out. Six bolts. And the front end came off. Of course, the tie rods and those, uh, uh, I don't know what those, uh, radius arms. Uh, took those off. Looked like it, instead of trying to get those pins out, looked like it'd be easier. Plus, it gets them out of the way. Just undo the two bolts here and take them out of their socket where they go into the tractor. Just leave them attached to the front end. And that actually allowed me to hold on and almost push the front end like a wheelbarrow um, to where I needed it. So I put, jacked up the front end, put a stand under the transmission, and then uh, used the jack to pull the front end away once I got it unbolted. Now the engine is just, uh, you know, free floating. Of course, you know, well, it's bolted, but it, there's no, uh, nothing there, nothing to keep us from being able to put our uh, engine hoist on the front, bolted to the engine, and unbolt the engine and pull it away from the transmission. So that's how I wanted it. Um, the goal will be also to put the old motor back. I think I'll put it back on here so that we get, so that this tractor goes back together. I think I haven't decided that yet. I may leave it apart. I don't know. I may leave it apart and put the engine like in the barn and uh, then use the bobcat to hook onto this part of it and put this out in the pasture. We'll see. That's probably what I'll do. I probably won't go to the trouble of pulling it. Putting it all back together, it just seems like a waste for a parts tractor. Because then, if I need something, say I need something that's in the transmission, then I gotta pull the engine back off. You know, if it's right there in the front, I'd rather just leave it apart. I think. So, let me uh, continue on. We'll get that battery out of here, and we will. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna start stripping the motor down. I haven't decided if I want to paint it. And then we're going to need to figure out the alternator. I'm, al I'm almost to the point, I think, where I want to start stripping the other one down. Um, I may go ahead and start undoing some of the dash stuff in the steering box. Um, it's supposed to rain later today. So I, I'm not going to open up the oil line or anything like that. I'll probably go ahead and uh, unbolt the carburetor. Because if I do end up pressure washing this thing, you know, I need to put it over here. Uh, I don't want to pressure wash the carburetor. I think this thing has been apart at least a little bit. Um, I see signs of... Uh, I think the oil pan's been off of it. To me, that looks like silicone. Um, yeah. So, you know, maybe they've rebuilt it at some point. Uh, it sounds good, and it it's got good enough oil pressure. Let's see. I wonder if they. Had ten idling, and like I said, that oil looks really thin. I wonder if they actually say in here. They may not say. I think it's good enough, though. So, uh, and it, like I said, it wasn't knocking or anything. So we'll go ahead and continue on and uh, get this thing apart. So this is what we're up to today. We're cleaning. Uh, I'm just cleaning. You can see all the gunk of 
scraped off the block. I haven't decided yet if I want to paint this thing. I'm going to, I'm going ahead and I'm cleaning it up. But like I said, I don't know if I want to paint it. Um, I'm, I kind of like leaving stuff as is, you know. Uh, you can see, you've seen my uh, formal cup. You know, it's definitely not a looker, but I'm, I'm not really a fan of all the completely restored tractor. You know, it's kind of like the same thing with cars. You know, I'm not a. I like things kind of in their natural beauty. You know, I like rat rods, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not really into the uh, spend all the time and completely restore something. So, I don't know yet. Um, I figured I'd at least get the get the uh, gunk off of it, and we might go ahead and pressure wash it and uh, spray paint it. I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave this starter on it. That way I can just leave it bolted up, because to remove the starter, I'm going to have to pull the uh, oil filter canister. And this starter was working, so I'll put my good solenoid on it and just use this one. And uh, then um, we'll uh, need to figure out something with this alternator. So let me continue on scraping. This water pump seems good, so we'll leave all that together. Um, let me pull our carburetor back off because we're going to use the other intake manifold. I picked up some gaskets. Um, We'll have to undo the oil line, but like I said, if I end up pressure washing it, I want to make sure the oil line, all that stuff's on it. So We'll see. We'll see how far we want to go with it. So, it's coming, coming apart quickly. Um, what we've got now is uh, pretty much everything stripped off the motor that I'm going to take off. Um, like I said, still haven't decided if I'm going to paint it or anything. But I went ahead and took the uh, steering gearbox off because while we've got it all apart, we're going to put this steering gearbox because it's a better design and it's got less slop on it on uh, my tractor um, with the steering rods. One of them, that one's slightly bent. So I may swap it with one of the other ones. May not. We'll see. Um, or I may see if I can get that bend out of it. Um, then we've got the dash, which I'm going to swap over. I need to clean this up and paint it. Uh, I, I am going to paint it. And we'll paint it red. But uh, I need to take all the gauges out of it and everything. And then just kind of do a quick sanding on it. Scuff it up and we'll throw some red rust-oleum on it. Then, let's see, what else we got? I need to look, this uh, throttle plate on this one is worn really bad. So I need to see, this track, that tractor I think has got a lot of hours on it. This one. Yeah, this one's not worn as much. We may swap over this throttle plate. Um, We'll see. We'll see if the other one, how it does. So we're going to use probably this oil pressure switch or oil pressure gauge. Um, that other one's got oil in it. It's all cloudy with oil in it. So we'll probably keep this gauge, use it. Or I might look and see if I've got another one here that we can swap in. And we might go ahead and throw a temperature gauge in. I haven't decided that yet. May do that at some other point in time. Uh, we're going to put the toolbox in here. Um, like I said, the steering gear box. And I'll probably pretty quick here. Um, kids got the day off and uh, I'll be working on it again later while I've got some help with the kids. I'll uh, probably start unbolting this hood, see if they can help me 
lift it off. I lifted the other one off by myself. It's uh, doable, but uh, definitely it would be easier with uh, some help. It's just awkward trying to lift it up off of here. So we'll probably go ahead and do that pretty quick here. And uh, I think before I do that, though, before I start tearing this one down, I'm going to actually flip it around towards facing outwards. So when I go ahead and pull that motor, all I've got to do is roll it over and put it in. Um, and I think just to make things easy, I will pull this one first and uh, set it out of the way. Probably just go ahead and just take it and put it in the barn. And uh, that'll be where it stays. And that one will stay hooked up to that tractor until I'm ready to put it in this one. There's no sense in pulling it off of there, you know, to just have to set it on the ground or something, because I'll need the hoist to pull that one. So we're going to pull this one last. So we can just pick it up, roll it over, and bolt it into the other tractor. So if I need to paint this, if I decide to paint this one, I'll go ahead and do it, paint it, with it sitting on here. So let me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray some degreaser on here and uh, start cleaning this thing up just a little bit. And uh, I don't know, well, I feel like I need to pull the, I don't really want to get the starter wet. Uh, I'm just going to scrape the grease off and we're probably not going to paint this thing. I'm probably going to put it in just like it is. I may, if I can get most of the grease scraped off I might paint it. We'll see. So I decided not to pressure wash it, so what I've been doing, poured up me some, uh, super clean in a uh, bucket. I've got all the bolts and stuff soaking in that. I've also been dipping. I've got a uh, big wire brush and a small wire brush, a flathead screwdriver, and a uh, putty knife, a flexible, real flexible one for scraping. And uh, I've been going all over this motor with all that. And I've got it cleaned up pretty good. Uh, good enough that um, we can get some paint on it. You know, it won't be the show quality paint job, but I figured um, I might as well try to do it. So, this is what we got. And uh, we're going to let it dry, and then we'll throw some engine paint on it. All right quick and dirty spray paint job. It actually looks pretty good. Any that I got on the plug wires, I can take some uh, paint thinner and wipe them off. I'm not worried about that. Um, and this manifold's coming off and my other one's going on, so not worried about that either. And this isn't engine paint. I do have some red engine paint. Um, I went to Walmart to get paint. And I remembered I had some red engine paint, but I couldn't remember what red. And the um, red, cherry red Rust-Oleum is uh, what people, there, there's a list of paint, you can find it online, there's a list of paint that are uh, real similar to the original red that these things were painted and uh, this Rust-Oleum Cherry Red is uh, one of them. And so I uh, picked up two cans of that with the intention of using this red engine paint that I had on the block. When I got, and Walmart actually didn't have any red engine paint. Um, so I was like, well, I'll just use what I got. So I couldn't remember what kind of red I had and I was going to try to get the one that they recommended matched. But when I got home, this is Chevy red which is right there it's like a Chevy orange red and so it's definitely the wrong color so I just painted the whole thing in the rust-oleum and I'm almost out um, I'm 
definitely not doing a restoration job. This is a quick and dirty paint job. We've got the uh, steering over here. We've got it propped up and I do not care about overspray on my trailer. Uh, any paint that gets on it just goes that much further to keep rust from getting on it. So, like I said, not not going after show quality, just trying to get some paint on it. Now this color paint is not going to match what's on the tractor, but uh, somebody painted the tractor in the wrong color red, or it's faded or something, but, uh, you know, this is more of a, it's definitely a duller, almost looks like a pinker, it's not near as bright of a red, it's a very dull, I would almost say it's a barn red or something like that, it's, it's just a, uh, I don't know, but, it's a tractor. Once it gets dirty, probably won't be able to tell. You can see this thing's dirty. Anyway, and the paint job I've got on it is definitely better. Well, I can't really show you all that, but you can see that's just caked on grease, and they just painted right over all that. So I at least tried to clean it all up before I painted it. So, we'll uh, let all that dry as soon as those arms dry. I've got to lift them up, paint the bottom side of them, and, uh, yeah, like I said, all I did was wipe it down, did not sand it or anything, so, yeah, you can see the old paint underneath, but, uh, it, like I said, it is not a show tractor, it is a utility tractor that I will be using so but I think the block turned out really good and those plugs I'm gonna put new plugs in it so I just painted them and those will come out new ones will go in so we're close to stopping place for today I'm gonna get the hood off the other tractor and then I'll be done I wanted to get this stuff painted so it could dry and then it'll be a few days before I can work on it so that I'll give the paint some time to cure. And uh, I'll probably leave the motor uncovered unless, uh, unless we're supposed to get some rain and then I'll probably cover it up.